Mr. Clancy has been charged with illegal possession of a firearm. Uh, school principal discovered an unloaded 38 caliber pistol in Mr. Clancy's locker. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Clancy was expelled from school and is being held on bail. And I would know where I was going if I could find my glass. Where the hell are my glasses? <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Van Exel. I'm missing paperwork here. Where's this boy's prior record? He doesn't have one, Your Honor. Nothing? Not even a misdemeanor? No, sir. You're telling me this is the first time he's in my court? Yours or anybody's. <clears throat> Mr. Clancy, you decide to skip over the minor transgressions and get right to the hard crime, is that it? My client found the gun in his home. It belonged to his mother's boyfriend. He felt it wasn't safe since he has young siblings, so he brought it to school. So he stole the gun as well? He didn't know what else to do. It never occurred to him to take the gun to a police station? All due respect, a black man walks into a police station with a gun. He does not stand a good chance of walking back out. I don't need you reminding me of our social plight. We got plenty of rock stars to do that. We are asking for three years at Long Lane, Your Honor, in keeping with the zero tolerance policy as regards children and firearms in the public schools. I'm sure you got a problem with that, Mr. Johnson. I feel three years is excessive. We're asking for probation or suspended sentence. We have an independent psych evaluation for your consideration. Let me guess. Attention deficit disorder, oppositional defiance disorder. Not sure we need to take up the court's time with all of that. This is a serious case. And it deserves a serious consideration, Your Honor. <sighs> okay, counsel. If you please, we'll put it on the dog for tomorrow. Next. <clears throat> As Your Honor is well aware, the recent spate of school violence has forced the administrators to adopt a zero-tolerance policy as regards the illegal possession of firearms, the offense to which the defendant has just pled delinquent. We see no cause for leniency here. Uh, the second court says that Mr. Clancy shows no sign of antisocial behavior. He's a B student with a good attendance record. He bragged about having a gun to his schoolmates. Uh, it says in my notes that Mr. Clancy also told his gym teacher that he had a gun in his locker. Is, th is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. He, in turn, told the principal, who then searched his locker. Was the gun loaded? I don't think that's an issue. Then why would I be asking? No, it wasn't. Uh, Mr. Clancy, would you like to tell me in, in your own words what happened? No. I understand that your attorney is advising you against speaking, but uh, I have to tell you, I think it would help. You're gonna do what you want to do, anyhow. <laughs> well, that's true. But I'm interested in your side of the story. <sighs> My mother lost her job. I got three brothers and sisters. She don't have any help. Uh, she gets upset and she, she starts talking crazy. She says she'd be better off dead. She took pills one time. I got scared when I saw the gun, so I took it. I see. And Mr. Owens was always saying we could tell him things. Problems at home. If we got in trouble, we could come to him. He said we could trust him. That you told him. Yeah. And what happened after you told him? He said not to worry. He'd take care of it. End of the day, I got called to the principal's office. Police were there, and they had the gun, and they took me off. Did Mr. Owens explain the situation? He wasn't there. Uh, Your Honor, there have been three shootings in this school this year, one of which left a student dead. I think you'd have to agree that Mr. Owens acted appropriately. Well, why didn't you just take the gun into the police station? You didn't think you could trust the police? You thought you could trust Mr. Owens? Yeah. Your Honor, this is a very touching account. But the fact is, there is a zero-tolerance policy which my office supports. Well, I don't. I have to look at the offender as well as the offense. We can't treat all cases the same. <laughs> Mr. Clancy took his teacher at his word and asked for help. He didn't get it. If we want our children to grow up in an atmosphere of honesty and trust, then we have to hold up our end of the bargain. 
If I refuse to exhibit any tolerance, then I'll be reinforcing Mr. Clancy's notion that people in positions of authority are not to be trusted. Sadly, that is sometimes the case. Well, not in my court. Uh, I'm sentencing Mr. Clancy to one year probation. I only wish I could order him back to school on Monday.